Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Team Tuesday. Before we get started on this week's project, I want to tell you about some cool stuff that's happening in the Fayetteville Free Library for Halloween this year. So if you picked up a supply bag from the library, turn it over to the back, and there's this whole section right here with all of our Halloween stuff. There is a pumpkin carving and decorating contest. There are three costume contests, a kid's costume contest, a teen costume contest, and then a group or family costume contest. The kids and teens are each just one person per entry, but the group or family one should be more than one person all together whose costumes create some sort of theme. Um, there'll be a different themed activity every day of the week leading up to the day of Halloween, which is when we will be announcing the winners of the costume contest. So take a look at the flyer that's in the bag from the library or visit our website, fflib.org, to see all the projects that are coming in October. And now, without further ado, today's project. Okay, so today we are making gilded insect faux taxidermy. <laughs> okay, one word at a time. Gilded, covered in gold. Insect, that should be pretty obvious. Faux, which means fake. And then taxidermy, you know, dead animals stuffed and hung on the wall. Put them all together. A gold-covered insect on a plaque for your wall. <laughs> to make this project, you need a few things. First, you'll need the insect that you're going to paint. If you grabbed a kit from the library, then you have an option between a spider and a bat. You also need a plaque that you can mount the insect to, gold paint for the insect, black paint for the plaque, a paintbrush for painting with, a hot glue gun to stick the insect to the plaque, and then a command strip for hanging it all on the wall. You're probably also going to want a surface that you can paint on so that you don't mess up your desk or whatever. Um, and we're ready to go. Let's start painting. Creepy Halloween decor, here we come. I'm gonna start by painting the plaque. Um, this piece, we're going to paint it black, and if, if you would like, you can go over it gently with a piece of sandpaper to get off any uh, little splinters sticking off. Then just paint it black. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna come back and give it a second coat of black when I'm finished with the insect, just so it's nice and dark. And let me go wash my hands and my paintbrush. Now, because these are rubber or plastic insects, you may be able to stretch their legs around a little bit so they're in a oh, even more creepy configuration than they were before. I'm gonna paint my insect. I've decided to go ahead and paint the spider because it is super creepy. And when I hang this on the wall in the teen space, I hope I make at least one person scream. So here we go. Let's just paint this super duper creepy spider. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a nightmare waiting to happen. The acrylic paint is uh, not sticking perfectly well to the spider, but we're going to come back and give it another coating after this one's had a chance to dry. All right, so I'm ready to put on the second layer on my black um, base. Second layer is really just to cover up any thin spots 
that you may have missed the first time around. So that is a nice solid black surface for our golden gilded insect. Second layer of black paint complete. I'm gonna go rinse my brush and get working on layer two of the gold. All right, here we go. Gold layer two on the spider. So, so creepy. Spider friend's definitely gonna need one more coating, at least. So let's let him dry for a bit and come back. Now that everything that we painted is dry, it's time for the last two steps. First, we're gonna use the hot glue gun to attach the gold spider to the black plaque. And then the last step is to put the command strip on the back and hang it on the wall. So, First thing I'm gonna do is lay the spider on the plaque to see how it fits, where it's gonna go when I stick it on so that I know where to put the hot glue. All right, right there. Oops, I got some hot glue on the spider leg. I'll take that off in a minute. Uh, <laughs> I'll go hang it on the wall. <laughs> Ooh. Don't forget to unplug your hot glue gun. <laughs> 